to play. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Anders Antonsen, Denmark. And on my left, Matthias Bore, Sweden. Matthias Bore to serve. Lafau, play. And very welcome back. Certainly, judging by the, no the noise in the hall, this is the one that all the local supporters want to see. And uh, an interesting match, Church given that the two players, Thomas, have come through love. qualification. Yes. But, uh, we certainly have a hot favourite uh, in Anders Antonsen. I guess that Anders is the favourite, but it's, uh, it's uh, fascinating that both uh, these guys uh, is qualification guys who, who manage to go to the final. Anders, Anders, of course, uh, European junior champion uh, from around this time last year. Matured a lot since then, come onto the senior circuit and won three tournaments from his five. Uh, coming through qualification, so he's, uh, he's used to winning coming through qualification. I think after this week, there will be no more qualification because his ranking will be high enough. But the winner at the Dutch International then won at the, in September in a very competitive Belgian international from qualification. Was runner-up in Poland and then uh, won again at the Irish Open at the end of this uh, year, beginning of December 2015. And uh, really for Matthias, it's uh, like a rebirth. Uh, he's been very insignificant, let's call it, on the circuit for sure. Over the He's been insignificant on the tour for the last number of years, and uh, but this is an atmosphere he likes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. This is uh, his home uh, crowd, not his home club from the beginning. He's from uh, Maria Stad, but he has played two. here in Uppsala for a couple of years. And um, as you said, the audience uh, was waiting for this match, and they probably give him the best of support uh, they can to beat the young uh, Danish star. And we hope uh, Matthias had a tough uh, semi-final yesterday. Uh, he won. Um, uh, but I hope he's recovered and is uh, fit again. So we can have a good men's singles match. Yeah, I beat uh, Lucas Clairbaugh of France w in yesterday's semi-final. And uh, one. his best result over the last 12 months has been a semi-final at the Hungarian International. And uh, other than that, it's been a, a lot of first round losses and qualification losses. So uh, he will uh, enjoy this moment, I think. And uh, let's, let's see what he can do against potentially one of the biggest stars in European badminton going forward. Upcoming star, Stan mm. Santos. So yes, definitely. After the superstar, Victor Axelsson, mm. he's the next guy in, the, in Denmark. Oh. Four, one. 
think it's very important for Matthias to, to have um, pressure in the clear game so, so, so Anders couldn't attack all the time that uh, he has done in the, in the beginning here. Um, <coughs> that has been Matthias' problems uh, before, that he, he plays a little bit too passive. I mean, he is a solid player, but when you meet guys like this, you have to score your own points, you have to uh, push your uh, opponent tougher than, than he, uh, he normally does. Yeah, in the past when I would be speaking Five about Matthias, I would always call him a defensive player. Yeah. But I think he's been working on that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I know all the coaches during the years have said this to Matthias, that if you want to develop, you must develop your game and become more uh, attacking player. And I, I think we, we have seen a change uh, with that. Um, but it, it's very easy if you have one game uh, to be comfortable with, uh, like you say, to be a little bit defensive guy like that. But he's not going to have a chance if he plays too defensive here. We speak about defense and uh, while we see all the beautiful winning strokes that Antonsen has, he also has a majestic defense. Yeah. Uh, when he defends, he defends so Sorry, strongly that everything comes back and it comes Six back into a position two. that you're not really expecting it to. And of course he has, he has the exuberance of youth on his side, you know, that no fear scenario uh, when you're young. No, no. And I, that's when you see him play, he, he has um, good confidence mm. and uh, believe in himself. Certainly, Thomas, the crowd will do everything they can to lift Matthias. Yeah, they will, and Uppsala's crowd is always, uh, they're famous for <laughs> cheering their own guys. Uh, but it's, that's good for the game as yeah. well, I think. Uh, I interviewed Anders yesterday, and, uh, you know, he's expecting this. He's expecting them to cheer for everything Matthias does and uh, not to say cheer for anything he might do and uh, he's ready for the challenge no, but I read uh, what he was uh, Seven, saying and I uh, think he's very mature for, for his age mm. and uh, so on Good rally here. A lot of clear patience. Uh, yeah, just one defensive shot too many for Matthias. And, uh, but you can see the maturity in Antonsen's game for Definitely such a young guy. Yeah. He's a young guy, but he plays very mature and, yeah. uh, and with a lot of patience. Uh, we will see here with uh, Matthias. I know normally he, he has no problems with long ready? rallies. He likes to mm. rally a lot. Uh, um, but Anderson, Anders Anderson, he, he, has, he moves Matthias Boy around a lot with the accurate strokes. And um, so I think Matthias has to cover a, a lot of court. Mm. And, um, Back to court, please. It takes on the on the physics sooner or later. So once again, the crowd get involved, getting behind their man, Matthias Borg. <coughs> it's been a long week this week for both these men, and uh, yep. eight three. This is play the eighth match they will have played, including qualification.
I think that's the way Matthias must play. He, he must try to do the points by himself uh, like that. And when he had the chance, uh, in, in, like in that rally, you have to stop Sorry, tight with the net stop so he eight. can get good lifts and then keep on the attacking. Anders Antonsen, of course, beat Henry Hutschkainen in the semi-final yesterday. It was a close first game, but then uh, I think Henry just ran out of steam after a long quarter-final Sorry, just before so that. But Antonsen has won all the way through in uh, Nine, two games. Matthias... Uh, it was a crazy long match yesterday, even in two games, uh, his win over Lucas Clairvaux. Yeah, I, I saw that it was a very long rally and no, no, no players could really um, finish the rallies with lots of clear and long, long, long rally. And again, a good win over Pedro Martins in the quarterfinal. So um, certainly Matthias has a pedigree here. Uh, he's shown good, good form this week. And it's been a long time since we've had a men's singles winner of the Swedish International or Swedish Masters or whatever name it has been. Eleven four interval. Stupid uh, shot from Matthias. Flat lift uh, cross court to Anders. You, you, you can't put pressure like that. It's a um, bad decision. And here is a um, yeah, funny scenario. We have the, the Swedish coach, who is a Danish guy, Anders Christiansen, uh, speaking to Matthias. And I think he's trying to get uh, Matthias more intense. And, uh, yeah. and on the other side is Per Henrik Krona, uh, the Danish coach, who's coaching uh, Anders Antonsson. Yeah, it's a Dane coaching the Swede and a Swede coaching the Dane. Yep. I interesting. 20 seconds. The bald head, seconds. of course, of Anders Christiansen. Uh, only retired maybe one year ago. Uh, yeah, mixed doubles expert. Yep, men's doubles as well. You see the different kind of coaching. Uh, Anders Christiansen is uh, an exciting uh, yeah. coach. He wants to get more energy into uh, Matthias, which I think is uh, correct. Per Henrik Kronas, more calm, no problem. Yeah. Just keep it going. I think when you're 11 for ahead 11, you can afford four. to uh, have a calm approach uh, at the mid-game interval I, yeah that's <laughs> right there's no reason to to get your player nervous <laughs> but uh, of course per henrik by his nature is like that yeah, yeah. absolutely mm. that's good for matthias uh i mean but i even if you make that tight net stop, he's backing off a little bit. He's mm. waiting for the lift. You have to stay to the net. If you make Five, a good net 11. stop, stay to the net, take the net. It's no problems to take the lift anyway. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, it's over. That uh, Anders Antonsen saw that very, very early. Yeah, but I think Matthias is slipping back into this passive mm. style mm. of play, and uh, I think uh, Anders Anders will will soak that up all yeah. day long. It won't give him any problems. No, uh, no, no. And he's not. Uh, he's mature enough to stay patient. And, and wait for the opportunity in a rally with Borg. Absolutely. 12-5. Mm. Play. Quite easy mistake from uh, Anders there. Uh, they had control over the rallies, but it was an easy mistake. That's the way for Matthias to take the net. 
See the defense? Yep. Mm -hmm. that, that's 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 the way to play anyway. I mean, earlier in that rally, he made a good net stop. He waited at the net for uh, just he, a little, little bit more. And, and he kept pushed up. Uh, yeah. he, he kept on the attack. That was impressive. But even if Anders Santosson had a very solid yeah, defense, like so that's the way Matthias must play. He can't rally uh, out. Okay, thank you very much. Anders. over 13 7 Obviously, Matthias, listen to what uh, Anders had to say during the interval. You know, you have to be more, um, uh, more, a little bit more attacking and, and really take the opportunity when it comes. Especially, you see that shot, you, you, you take the shuttle as high up as you mm. can to, to, um, to stress your opponent. Yeah. Starts so over. 14-8. I think also Matthias is settling into the game a little bit. He looked a little bit nervous in the first uh, five or six points. Yeah, but it's it's not so often Matthias plays finest like this. He scored a lot of uh, some points on that stroke uh, when he goes up in the air, cross course slice drop. But uh, nine fourteen. Even Anders has that <laughs> drop shot we see there. But you see, if, if, if a lift to clear is uh, too short, you, you have to cover a straight smash and yeah. that cross court slice drop. Nine. Even in the few years I know Anders Antonsen, oh, the amount he has grown. I first saw him as a 14-year-old in a qualification mm. tournament and he got through qualification at 14. I went, oh, this is one for the future, but he's a tiny little skinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still quite skinny. Uh, I just hope that uh, he doesn't get too tall. You know, if you, get, you can sometimes almost get too tall for, uh, for singles, considering that he still has a couple of years' growth Whoa, around the back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Great <bro>. rally. <laughs> yeah, Matthias is growing into this game and uh, better and better, yes. Mm. an opportunity yeah certainly the lift was good 16, it was good and deep uh -huh.
You can see Ant Anton Sam when he has pushed Matthias in the corners, he moves closer to the net so he can take the shutters even uh, earlier. And that stresses Matthias a lot, you see. That's good. good net play by Matthias. And uh, he scored that point eventually. Stick smash winner from Anders Andersen. Yeah. Again, the lift just way 18, too short. Yeah, definitely. 11. And you see Matthias, he, he hasn't uh, the time to, to recover the court after that. Right. 19, 11. see there as well. And this is pushing Matthias out in the corner and then he advanced in his position closer to the net. And then he waited. He wasn't tempted to come in and play a, a net kill too early. He pushed him back his second yeah. time and the patience and then spotted the opening and pulled cross court then for the winner. Huge, huge maturity for you know, a young yeah. man. Yeah. Nice cross net from Borg. Yeah, but you see Matthias al always has to save the shuttle instead of doing something yeah. on his own. Yes, he's he's uh he's reacting instead of being proactive. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit symptomatic for the game, this rally. I mean, when Anders pushing Matthias around. And I don't like, and I, and I don't like that um, body language from Matthias as well, because you have to show your opponent that you are strong. Yeah, yeah that's right. You have to stand up and, yes. and put that chest out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Twenty game point, twelve. Game. Yes. Yeah. To be honest, it's quite an easy win for Anders Santos on this game, 21-12. Yeah, you know, we've seen Anders and Anders maintain this consistently high level throughout that first game. But Matthias had extreme highs with some good rallies and then, oh, some very bad lows. And it, the, the graph is up and down. Yeah. Where and you don't win a match like that. <laughs> no, you don't. No. Simple as that. It's interesting, uh, again, back to the music, you know, the reason why we have to have this music that is older than 30 years of age. <laughs> why? Because uh, anything that's younger than 30 years, o years 
cannot be broadcast on YouTube because of, of, of uh, media right restrictions. It is like that? That's that is the reason, yeah. Wow. You have all these broadcasting rights and anything that is older than 30 years that's is okay. outside of it. Wow. Yeah. So that's why uh, Badminton Euro is broadcasting on YouTube and that's why it's like that. Or no, uh, the YouTube rules are yeah, you, yeah. You, you cannot use music uh, without paying for it. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, as, is, as is the way, you know, uh, yeah. musicians are artists and they deserve to earn their, their money. But anything that is older than 30 uh, years okay. of age is uh, excluded. 20 seconds. But Marvin Gaye is never wrong to listen up. No, absolutely not. Yeah, back to the game, Thomas, and really, yep. what has is, what is Matthias got to do? As we said from the beginning, he, he must uh, stand up more and um, have a higher uh, pace in his game and, and try to, to um, push Anders Second. instead of being pushed himself around in, on in the Lock court. And he must show his opponent that he is strong, that he is, because now uh, Anders is mm -hmm. the, has the upper hand in that game as well. There you can see how, how important with the angle and, and, and um, to smash close to the line, how important it is. It's not a especially hard smash, but it's very efficient. Yeah. But the thing you will notice, and if, if anybody would watch this back, uh, you would actually notice when you watch the winners that Antonsen played, they're all played with a margin inside the line mm. because he's developed the rally to give himself those margins. He doesn't. F he doesn't have to go for the lines as a result. Where well, the lesser players Two feel like, oh, love. I have to push to the lines. Yeah. I have to really push the margins. Mm. Antonsen getting lucky. Uh, good stick smash down yeah. the line. Antonsson has started this set very good as well. Even yeah. if I think that Matthias looks that he's trying at least to change the game as we uh, spoke about. Three. But when you look at the stats of this match already, Thomas Matthias has never been in front. Uh, he's never even managed to get close. So, uh, and this game already is starting to look like it's drifting away from him, yeah, even at such an early juncture. It's very important now in the in the beginning of the game that Matthias tried to to level up here. Over. One, three. Now, uh, now I would like to see Matthias win some points that he's constructed himself. Mm -hmm. That was a mistake for yep. Anders, really. And uh, oh. that's better. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Service over. Four. One. Oh, I was called out. It was out. I wonder that. Could, could we have a Hawkeye on that, please? <laughs> Unfortunately, we, our budget doesn't stretch to Hawkeye. <laughs> we have eight natural Hawkeyes around the court on mm. the lines. Yeah, but <laughs> that's the most important one. Yes. The line 
Good job, Jesus. That's a good weapon he has there. What's it else? I think from a Swedish point of view, that's the best rally of the match so far. Uh, again, Matthias just just being a little bit more offensive. Uh, taking his chance then when he needed to take Two, it. Four. Half an hour gone. Anders Andersen leading after winning the first set 21-12 for 2-4 in the second. No. Service over. Looking a little bit slow Five, in his leg. Two. There. Six, two. Uh, it's not good. Not good enough at all. Yeah, as I said, this is the eighth match for both men and uh, three of the matches for Matthias were quite long in excess of 40 minutes with one of them over an hour in that quarterfinal against Lucas Klebo where I think Antonsen has Seven, been uh, rather two. efficient mm. all the way through in his matches and uh, it all adds up. String on. Fantastic attack there from Anders. And it's amazing, again, knowing him a, a, a few years, the difference in power, mm. even in just one year. When he won the European Junior title last year, he was still still a, still a boy. Mm. But uh, he's worked a lot on his uh, physique uh, uh, and his and, and his power, and you could see it, see it in that smash. That was a that yep. was a powerful smash of it a man. Goes up in the air very yeah. uh, very early as well. Uh, maybe he's a boy uh, about his age, but mm -hmm. not on the court, mm -hmm. I can tell you. <coughs> he's had a few issues this week with his uh, nose. He's had some nosebleeds mm -hmm. uh, during matches. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope uh, nothing like that mm -hmm. happens now. Okay, thank you. Play. <gasps> oh, it's brilliant, but I it's a brilliant uh, shot from Anders, but Nine, uh, nevertheless, it's Matthias. Uh, it was twice in that rally. Make Matthias? a good net, stop tight to the net, Matthias. backing off from the net, uh, and shot. letting Anders make this uh, cross court net shot. Ten, two. Yeah, I think crunch time has come early. Uh, Very early. <laughs> for Matthias Borg in this men's singles final. The crowd are doing their bit mm. to try and uh, raise his spirits. Try to cheer him up there, Matthias, I see.
I think Matthias needed that point, uh, Thomas, because if he didn't, it would have been seven points in a row, and then the interval lead would have been quite substantial. Yep. Three, ten. Oh, that's better. Four, ten. Oh. Service over. 11 oh, that's four. Interval. I think I think Matthias felt he had that rally won. Uh, didn't expect <laughs> that fourth shot from that's the one. end of the rally to come back from Anders and uh, 11 four. Certainly, it's Anders Antonsen who has all the shots and he has uh, the mentality and he has the maturity really now to push on and win this. Yeah. title quite comfortably and it, I think we would both expect him to do so yes mm. uh, well I have a hard time here Matthias if he's going to change this match mm. 20 seconds you see as well, uh, well uh, even if Anders is on, in, on, uh, in pressure he is good to recover himself in the rallies yeah And that's something he's better at than uh, every player on the circuit. When he's under pressure, he has this ability to get himself out. Mm. Uh, and his opponents, they just don't expect it. You know, they, no. they feel they have the rally won, and then all of a sudden it comes back, and it comes back with, with something on it. There's only one Four. man on the court right mm -hmm. now, to be honest. You see, you see when, when Anders is pushing Matthias, how, f how far uh, ahead in the court he goes. He's almost down yeah, he close to the line, yeah. the service line, when he, when he um, takes the next shot. Yeah, he's, he's pushing up, uh, yeah. anticipating a, uh, a weak uh, return. Thirteen, four. You see uh, what I mean, uh, yeah. Thomas? Fourteen. For some, he, he has four. this ability to stay focused and uh, this almost out of human uh, uh, ability to get these shuttles back. Mm. Yeah, but it's and very Mat solid defense. Matthias, you could see it in his body language. He felt he had that point one. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was just a lot of chances. Mm. Okay, thank you. And again, it's it's... Thank you. While he has beautiful strokes, while mentally he's very strong, it's that defensive side of his game that really impresses me so much as a, as a young man. But I think uh, it was a little bit similar when uh, Victor Axelsson made his debut. He's always yeah. very confident on the court and you see on his body language that he, he this is his area and mm -hmm. he's in control of it the future is bright for Denmark <laughs> yeah definitely uh, especially on the on the, um the men's side yeah mm. Ouch. 17 uh, four yeah of no. course, he lets uh, he he Anders gets a lot of shots back, but Matthias must even though try to try to finish the rallies all the time. Uh, it's
Yeah. But, but that was too... Uh, it was too casual from Matthias. Uh, yeah. he, sh he should have been in for a, a quick snappy neck kill down on the floor. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I mean. Uh, yeah. he, he doesn't give any, a chance, uh, really, and that makes me a little bit disappointed, mm -hmm. actually. It, it is like the fight is gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe it is, but mm -hmm. you, you... Yeah, but you do not... You, you must keep going. If you lose, you, you lose with your head held high uh, like that, and mm -hmm. I, I, I don't see that now. Yeah, good shot. Six eighteen. Driving the shuttle cross court. I think all of a sudden, then when Matthias has realised that maybe the game is over, yeah. uh, all of a sudden he loosens up and uh, he starts to play the shots again, and uh, and that's two good rallies. Yeah, but it's a little li bit late, I yeah, think. Too little, too late. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, four points in a row, Thomas, and that's the first time that uh, Matthias has done that in the match. Anders wants to change the shuttle, but mm. Matthias said no. You did it just before. <coughs> Eight, 18. Serves over. Ah, loose, loose serve. Eight. Yeah. And now he says to the umpire that he thinks that Anders Went too, f mm. went too early. Service over. Nine nineteen. Mm. Too flat, clear. Oh, Matthias, string has gone as well. Ah, uh, oh, string is gone, yes. Yeah. yeah. No! <laughs> Maybe that's excuse his flat clearer. <laughs> yeah, but what Anders needed to do there was just get on, a, get on the attack and start putting pressure on it to try and get him to hit, force him to hit hard defensive shots, and there's no way he was going to come back. That's the yeah. that's the thing that most players do when they see when their opponents have a spring uh, string off. Yeah, they, the they play soft. slow and yeah. soft <laughs> instead because uh, instead you should be the other way around because yeah. it's 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 more difficult to control it when you should be on the defensive with it with a broken exactly. racket. Exactly. Ten, nineteen, play. Chances. Service over. 20. Match point. 10. Three quarters of an hour gone. It's a uh, match point for Anders Andersen. Yeah, there it is. A brilliant uh, finish from Anders Andersen. Who won this men's thing is quite easy. 21 12, 21 10, 45 minutes. Yeah, smash winner and another tournament, another win, Thomas. And, uh, well, you know what? It's great for Europe to see such a young man 
coming through and uh, we have we can all enjoy watching him in the years to come and uh, we all have to applaud him Definitely. and we all have to applaud Denmark and the way they can bring these guys through yeah, they are phenomenal congratulations to Anders Antonsen now uh, stay tuned for the prize giving ceremony and we'll be back with an interview and then the final match of the day the men's doubles Astrup and Scarborough Rasmussen against Christiansen and Daugard Presenting the awards are Lisa Hundemark Eriksson, CEO of Finnish Hall and co-arranger of Swedish Masters in cooperation with Savi. And the man with the plan, P.G. Jönsson. <laughs> the runner-up of the Swedish Masters 2016 men's single from Sweden. <laughs> Matthias Ford. Swedish Masters 2016 men's single from Denmark, Anders Antonsen. <laughs> Well done, well done. Sorry, sorry. Just by a little bit. And there you go, perfect. Yeah. Anders, congratulations. It's another tournament and it's another win and uh, it's another another tick check in the box and uh, happy man. And uh, explain how you're feeling right now. Good start to 2016. Yeah, really good start. Uh, it seems that 2016 will be as good as F15, so uh, I'm really happy uh, with my win uh, here in Sweden. Uh, I knew that this was one of the strongest challenge tournaments in, uh, yeah, on the circuit tour, so uh, I'm really happy to win here in, in Sweden for the first time. You know, even at such a young age, you know, you've proven yourself. You've proven yourself at this level, and you've almost fulfilled uh, the, the need to get the ranking up. And uh, So what's, what's next now? What's the plan for 2016? Uh, I will try to uh, step up uh, in the tournaments. Uh, I will play uh, German uh, Grand Prix uh, Gold and uh, Swish as well. So that will be exciting to see uh, to see what I can do there. Uh, hopefully get some good matches and um, yeah. 
But that's the next thing. Let's take it up a level and see what you can achieve. You've uh, performed well and uh, you dominated the final and uh, you kept the crowd quiet enough and that was important. Yeah, it was important. Uh, they were really loud uh, in the beginning and uh, I think it was just it was just making it more fun playing out there. So, uh, yeah, that was a good crowd. Okay, cool, Anders. Thanks for joining us. I'll let you go and support the guys and uh, have a look at the men's doubles. Thanks for joining us and uh, well done. Another tournament win and uh, super to watch it. Well done, my man. Thank you. Good stuff. Well done.